Today, we are going to be talking about that urge to forfeit, of giving up that might be plaguing you. Should you give up? Is it all worthless now? I'm returning to this topic of AI art, particularly due to the amount of hopeless comments, memes, and such I have seen floating around in the ether that is the internet. I have come across innumerable comments to the effect of, I was just starting to get back into art, but this AI stuff has just killed my motivation. Or, I feel like all the time I have put into this is just made fruitless by how quickly and proficiently the AI art creates an image. It's hard to deny the hopelessness in these comments. They are rooted in an amorphous reality. AI art is here. It's scary, it's fast, and it's impressive. Greetings. My name is Zach, and I taught middle and high school art for over a decade. More than that, however, I'm one of those lunatics that has to build and create things to just get through the day. I've got whatever metaphoric screw it turns out to be loose in my skull, compelling me to get images and stories out of my head and to establish some manner of daily contentment. Should I quit? Should you quit? Will that solve the problem? What was the point at the beginning of your art making journey? It might have been as simple as replicating your favorite characters or monsters from video games or movies. It may have had little tether to any reason, and may have just been something fun to keep you occupied and your mind productive. And then, it may have been much more complicated. You might have things in your brain that you have to get out and see on the page. And whether you started making things because you felt compelled, or it was an interesting hobby, what do you have to gain from stopping? Will you be okay if you step away? Will those ideas be content to swim around in your mind forever? In my life, that has never worked. Anytime I refrain from creating for a period of time, a, a discontent, a grumpiness with stagnation begins to grow and fester in me. If creating something artistic has been a part of your life and you want it to be a part of your future, how will you be if you step away from that? Not that your identity needs to be tied up in your creations and the act of creating, but if you have this as an innate human need, it likely needs to be fulfilled for your ongoing happiness. Now we face this juggernaut of AI art, this machine that manufactures beautiful things with a couple clicks. It is flooding the visual market of the internet. I'm sure you have found yourself clicking on things and sometimes being surprised that it was made by Midjourney, or sadly, maybe surprised that it was made by a human. It is daunting. I feel daunted by this. My art skills are not at a level that I feel comfortable trying to move forward and compete with something like this. I have had moments, like some of you likely have, where I've wondered if my actions will be obsolete in the near future. It's a sobering and unpleasant place to be. And I think it should be said as well, it's not an irrational or a logical place to find yourself. However, take a moment and think solidly about how it affects you and your creative workflow. What is the actual effect on you, on me, by this AI art? Is it replacing the joy you get from creating things, from learning a new skill, from getting something out of your head and onto the page? Is it capable of creating the worlds you have imagined yet? I can't speak for all of you, obviously, but I certainly can't see it accomplishing these things yet. At least not for me. Smart and creative people can likely turn the beast to their own ends and produce some magnificent things, but that doesn't innately rob you of your ability to produce your own ideas and beasties. So these benefits you pull from art, from creating, from struggling, they disappear if you abandon your pursuit of art. If AI art causes you to swerve and cease creating, if you abandon ship because of the machine, all these benefits vanish. I suppose you lose the fear and trepidation about an uncertain future as well, but losing satisfaction and excitement for a more certain future seems fundamentally flawed. We have all seen how uncertain the future is anyway with the last few years we've lived through. Please don't let this rob you of the satisfaction of creating new things, of struggling and growing and producing and making beautiful and ugly things. And what if those creations of yours actually were to come to fruition, to make it into the public eye in any way? We have so many opportunities for things to be publicly visible these days, it's more accessible than ever to present your work to the public. 
Every beautiful creation you love, every character, every video, every game, those were all the product of some little kid who dreamed of creating and saw it through. We are not all going to produce a new Spider-Man or Dark Souls, sure. But if you have ideas in your cranium, not only do you benefit from them sneaking their way out, but others may benefit from them as well. Gravitate to them, be inspired by them. This community needs everyone to keep thinking, to keep ideating and producing. Don't rob yourself of the satisfaction of creating new things, and please don't rob someone else of the benefits your creations might bring them. What about those outside of the art community? I've heard rumblings about how AI art devalues more traditional art, how much more difficult it makes our plight to understand for the layman. There are some who feel like AI art has democratized art, open it up to the masses. Now not only those special gifted people have the divinely given ability to produce beautiful things, I too can steal back what should have been mine and make the universe fair at last. Have you encountered this notion? Those outside of the skilled craft of art making rightfully struggle to understand it, struggle to understand the quantity of time and practice that went into getting good. People are born talented, I find that hard to dispute, but artistic skill is built brick by brick over years. Some people have a head start, but they still have to put in the mileage. It's easier to look at artists and assume that they're born that way. It, it dissolves oneself of the responsibility of putting in the work to get to that level. If you can categorize people who have a skill as being special, as being set apart and born with the ability to do that thing, then you don't have to deal with the devils in the details that point back at you, suggesting that you could have been good as well, if only you had cared to put in the time. It is noble to work hard at a craft, to work until you bleed to get better at a thing. Painting is hard, drawing is hard, goodness, just coming up with ideas is hard. What does it matter if the outside doesn't understand the artist's plight because of how AI has muddied the waters? They never understood to begin with, and it doesn't matter. No one needs to understand why the artist labors on, why the painter paints, that is the internal struggle of the artist alone, and is a big enough struggle it doesn't need to be autopsied by those on the outside. If they didn't understand why you do what you do before the AI came in, why would they now? It's fine. There's a massive community of creatives who get it, who are subjected to the ebb and the flow of the muse, to the compulsion to make, to the mentally exhausting mountain that is skill building. If this is you, you are not alone. There are hundreds of thousands of artists in the same position. Try to find some solace in the fact that you aren't alone. Dreams are still worth chasing. They always have been, if for no other reason than because they encourage us to keep getting up and slogging on. They breed hope. Having an artistic goal, an artistic dream to push toward, to strive for, allows us to continue, to have longevity in this ethereally flexible world. Heads in the sand and minds in the cosmic dream is not what I am advocating for. The beast is here, and I doubt it now wanders off into non-existence. Though our friends in the community that are pushing for the ethical management of the creature have our eternal thanks. And hope. Our dreams are important. It is important and valid for us to keep holding on to what have always been unlikely stars in the night sky. Holding on to those dreams continues the tradition, keeps us hoping for the future, and I think helps us craft and create that future in a more human, humane, and beautiful manner. Don't quit. Don't ever stop. The art is good for you. It's good for others, and the world needs more creators. And we all know it needs more beautiful things. It's hard right now, and I don't know if it's going to get easier. But art has always been about struggle. So keep up the good struggle. Have a good one, y'all. See you soon.